<laughs> it like completely lost me. Hey guys, welcome back to danstube.tv where you can expect brutally honest tech reviews. And today we're doing a field test where we're actually testing out the drone link beta version of their follow mode. So this is only available in beta, so keep that in mind as you check out the footage. It will obviously improve as they release it to the public. Um, but this is kind of my thoughts comparing the drone link follow mode to the lychee follow mode and uh, my overall experience with it just out here today. Like for people out there who don't know I guess why you would want to get a drone link or a light cheap piece of software. Um, for the most part, a lot of the other drones have the follow modes, the waypoints, you know, lots of different capabilities within the drone. But with the Mavic Mini specifically, you have no follow modes, no tracking modes, and no waypoints. So basically, the software drone link allows you to have the features that you would kind of expect out of the higher end drones. So it's really dependent on what you want it for, um, but it allows you to like plan out missions and add additional features that you don't have available in the DJI apps. I'm putting my own drone in harm's way here, guys, <laughs> to test it out for you guys. So we, you know, we really take those hard, hard truths. We really push to try to get that content that you guys might not see everywhere else. All right, so it says here requires beta version two, and this is the new follow mode, which allows you to move around while the drone follows you. So I know that they were testing this for quite a while um, and we actually interviewed Eric on the channel, the co-founder of Drolink, and he told us that this was kind of in the works and he tested it quite thoroughly. So from what he told me, it's very stable, even though it's in the beta. Um, so we'll just set it up. It's on follow and it's basically going to be following the signal from the controller. So that's why a follow mode is a bit more powerful because a tracking mode using software and an algorithm, um, so it might lose you. But at least with this, it's getting a consistent signal from the controller. Um, so I say all of this, and then it might not work, but let's see. So you've got advanced settings as well, include catcher type, smart return to home, RC stick input, we'll enable those. So far I can just see the option to literally start following, and it's about to start. Cool. So it's following at altitude of 1.6 meters, so we've got it pretty low, and 12 meters distance. So sometimes you can get like quite dicey movements when you're really close, um, but we'll see how this goes. I'm going to start jogging, okay, and we'll see how it goes. Oh, we've got a bird. From what I can see, it's pretty limited right now in what you can actually do in the follow mode. So it's basically just following you. You can't actually uh, choose where the heading is, which way the drone's facing basically, distance or height or anything like that. Basically you manually do that. So I'm gonna get like a higher shot now um, where I've got like a distance from me and we'll see how it goes with that. But I guess that's something they'll probably look into adding because again, their direct competitor has all of those options. Um, but right now it's basically just click into follow, press play, and then it follows you, which is still amazing, because it's something that Mavic Mini users can't do, uh, but it is a little bit limited, so just keep that in mind. All right, so we've now got a, a distance of 46 meters from me, and a height of 30 meters. Actually, we'll go higher, so we're above the trees. All right, and now what we'll do is we'll just like track over these trees. I'll just walk this way, and we'll see how it goes. So another thing I'm noticing is that it seems to be a little smoother then Lychee, straight off the bat. Lychee seems to kind of scan left and right, and uh, even though it's got that consistent connection, it seems to kind of lose you almost, or it tries to find you a lot, and, and rotates and moves. Uh, where this is a bit more of a consistent, like stable shot, it seems to be keeping me nicely in frame. Uh, not too many adjustments, which is again what you want. You want a smooth shot, you don't want it to be scanning constantly. So straight off the bat, it's pretty reliable. Um, again, very limited functionality, it's just a follow mode, but if you get it to the right altitude and distance, then you're fine, you don't have to worry about it. Like, I can literally just put this controller down, even. you know, I'll just walk. I know I nearly lost my drone here the other day, but that's how, how much I want to show you guys how reliable it is. And it seems to be going alright, even though it's not tracking me, because it's tracking the controller guys. See, I nearly got you guys on that one. From what I can gather, um, again, I interviewed Eric, maybe a little bit biased because uh, I got like a bit of an insight into how they run DroneLink and uh, 
it seems like they're really focusing on functionality here. So again, we don't have any of those bells and whistles. You can't really customize the following experience. It's literally just, you press play and then it follows you. But that's the whole concept of a follow mode. So if they nail that, then it'll be easier to add additional features later on, where it looks like Lychee kind of went for the all-encompassing approach, where they're like, hey, here's everything, but it's also not the most stable experience, guys. So in my opinion, I guess you'd prefer the functionality. Um, so that's really cool to see. It seems to be a lot more stable straight away compared to Lychee. So again, a massive plus, because some of the Lychee footage is just not usable. Like you wouldn't even want to use it. It moves too much and it scans too much. It kind of just pulses left and right. But this just seems to be actually keeping me in the shot. So basically, um, I've noticed with Lychee that if you have it really low to the ground and super close to the controller, that's where it seems to struggle. It just seems to like, Basically it yaws, which means it turns left and right. It does that a lot. Like it's losing a signal even though it's meant to be a consistent signal. So I guess if I can pair my experiences um, of Lychee to Drone Link, let's see how it goes when it's nice and close to me. And all it's doing is following the controller. So we'll get it as close as we can. That's like a realistic kind of distance away. It's kind of, as you can see, like jumping up and down a little bit. It's definitely struggling, it is pretty close. <laughs> it like completely lost me. It's doing a pretty good job though. It's not really keeping me in frame. See that's kind of, can you see how it's really struggling? That's kind of the issue I had with Lychee, where it just kind of, it struggles. It's like it's losing connection or something. It's trying to figure out where you're at. I was pretty impressed for the most part. Um, like I was saying throughout the video, there are definitely things that are limited, like it is just a pure follow mode. You can't change any of the settings from what I can see, it's just you press play and it follows you. But it does a really good job of doing what it's intending to do, which is following you. So comparing it to Lychee, I think Lychee has more features, but is less stable. So it depends whether you kind of want a more kind of feature rich experience or whether you want it to follow you a bit more consistently. And I can answer, I would want the following mode to work better than the features. The features don't really mean anything if the follow mode doesn't work. So I guess overall, I think I'm preferring Drone Link's following experience and it's still in beta. So hopefully they'll add more features and it'll become a little bit more feature packed. Um, but both of them are pretty cool and they've kind of got their positives to them and their negatives. I think right now, like it's still in its early stages. So I think I'll revisit it in a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so to see if they've added any other features. Um, but from what I can see, Drone Link is the more comprehensive experience right now. It also has the most reliable waypoints. It has the better user interface in my opinion. And it's also like only $20 for a lifetime membership if you're a hobbyist. So it's really affordable and it's feature packed. So honestly, Drone Link is probably the way to go for the mo like the average consumer out there. Um, but Lightchee also has its benefits as well and you can kind of see that in my other videos. But that's it guys. If you have any other thoughts about some video content that you'd like to see on Drone Link, Lightchee or any other drone, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. Make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out.